Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plug and Boutique. And today we're taking a quick look at a brand new synthesizer on our website called Mini Pole from Karani Sounds. This is a four voice analog synthesizer with a bunch of really smart random controls built inside of it. It looks really sweet and it packs a punch because what you see here on the screen are all the parameters at your disposal, but it is a ton. So let's just go ahead and jump into it. First of all, this is the patch I've got here. I really dig it. Now, as I said, this is a four voice analog style synthesizer. These are the four voices right here. You see we got A, B, C, and D. And these are actually the waveforms up here at the top. If I click right here and drag down, I'll be able to change those. You see that? Now from there, we have the gain control for each one of those voices. Obviously, if we wanna bypass it, we can just pull this all the way down. We have a fine tuning parameter, and then we have octave options right here as well. So this would be plus one octave wherever your MIDI note or your keyboard press is and then minus an octave. And then we have our panning controls, pretty straightforward there. However, there are a noise and a sub oscillator inside of mini pole as well. So uh, we can easily bypass those or turn those on or off with these buttons. And this is gonna come in key later, especially when we jump into the effects and the randomization controls down here at the bottom. Cause when you use the randomization controls, it won't turn things on or off. In fact, let's just jump into it. Uh, so. It's really cool that you can randomize certain aspects of mini pull one at a time, or you can do it all. If you press right here, everything is gonna get randomized. However, if I come in here and turn off the noise module and maybe turn on the sub module um, and randomize again, However many times I randomize, you'll notice that that noise module stays off and the sub stays on. And that's the same with the effects as well. If I never want chorus or delay, for example, every time I press this, those will never come on and these will never turn off. So that's just something that's really cool. So it's another way to use the randomization parameters in a smart way. Now, obviously, if I click right here, it randomizes everything. But each one of these sections, we essentially have like an A, a B, and a C. So our A would be our main noise generators or our oscillators, and then we have filtering controls. This is the amp envelope here at the top, and then we have the filter envelope over here where we can choose the filter type, uh, frequency amount, and so on. And then we have two LFOs to choose from, and then we have five different effects. But if, for example, I press this right here, it's just gonna change the shape of the oscillators. So let me come in and actually come into the factory presets. Let's just choose this one for now. And if I press right here, So I'm gonna be getting a variety of sounds that are gonna be around the same shape because it's not messing with the filter, it's not messing with the effects, we're just gonna get a different sort of tone. Now I can also do that with the gain, which is just again gonna further transform the sound. And you'll notice that this is affecting the gain control of the noise in the sub as well. And then we have this one, which will affect the octave or in the fine tuning of each one of the oscillators as well. It is also affecting the pan. And then we have essentially, let's just tweak out everything just in this one section. So I'm digging that sound, you know what I mean? It's very, very easy to get new sounds when you start messing with this. From there, we have the envelope controls. Uh, I tend to stay away from this one since I've been using mini pole because if I'm working with a pluck, for example, and I mess with this, you'll see that it's automatically gonna push up the attack quite often, which is totally gonna change the vibe of what I'm going for. But that's just another really cool thing. You know, a lot of plugins have just, you randomize everything controls, but having these randomized different parts of different sections is a smarter way to do it because if I'm if I'm working with a pluck I really don't want to ever go outside of a pluck uh, especially if I'm in the context of a track and not just looking for a random sound to get it, to get some inspiration <laughs> So 
So it's very helpfully color coded. You'll see here I've got green and blue, and that means I'm gonna be changing the filter type and the filter amount as well. And again, if I don't have the LFOs on, they're not gonna be changed. Here is again, is just gonna change everything inside of this section. And like I said before, I tend to stay away from um, that just because again, I don't wanna ever add a long attack to my pluck sound. And then it's the same thing over here with these effects. We've got a filter, a delay, a chorus, a tone, or essentially a three band EQ. And then we have some really great sounding impulse responses for the reverb over here. So beyond that, there are lots of uh, factory presets inside of here from basic starting points up to your bases, your keys, your cinematic keys, pads, plucks and shorts and soundscapes. Overall, I would say it's a really, really interesting plugin with a cool approach to getting inspiration. And I highly suggest you downloading the demo and checking it out because not only does it sound great, it looks cool too. And I'm really digging uh, just this oscillator shape control and all of the smart randomizing effects down here at the bottom of the plugin. Uh, it's a brand new synth on pluginboutique.com as I said in the beginning of the video. Click the link in the video description if you wanna check it out. As usual, I'm Joshua Casper here. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.